Hey, what's going on, everybody? Barrett here with Spec of Tech. Welcome to the channel. Do you want to know how the Valencia Home Theater chairs hold up after a year and a half of use? Find out today as we do the year and a half review of the Valencia Tuscany Ultimate Luxury chairs that are in my home theater. I received my row of four Tuscany Ultimate Luxury chairs in March of 2022, so we're now just over a year and a half of use. Let's see how they've held up and if I've had any issues with their leather, the power adjustments, the comfort, or the cushions. We're also going to do a little race between my most used chair and one of the chairs that's hardly been used, just to see if the most used chair is still just as fast at reclining. The Tuscany Ultimate Luxury Chairs are about 2,000 US dollars per chair or 3,000 Canadian, but they're usually sold as multiple chairs, obviously. I've dropped links to these chairs as well as some of the other Valencia chairs down in the description below. And please do use those links for purchasing if you do plan on purchasing. It does help out the channel, but it doesn't cost you guys anything. If you'd like to see my review video of these chairs, I'll link that in the top right hand corner. I do cover all the details in that video if you'd like to learn more about the chairs. To keep this video a little bit shorter, I'm just going to give the bullet points here. These chairs are made with 20,000 grain Napa leather on all the surfaces, and they come with power recline, power headrest adjust, and power lumbar adjust. And one of the great things about these chairs is that all those adjustments can be saved using the memory function, so one press of that button and you're right back into your favorite position. They do have LED lighting effects on the bottom and the cup holder, and there are seven different colors of LED lights to choose from, but they can also be turned off for those of you that want a nice dark room. The armrests open up to a nice deep storage space for things like remotes or even the table trays that can be ordered separately from Valencia. These chairs are absolutely beautifully made, there's no question about that with an appearance that adds premium looks to any decor or space but do they hold up after heavy use that's what we're here to answer so let's start things off with that supple 20,000 grain napa leather yes it's soft and supple and very comfortable but has it worn out over the last year and a half as i already mentioned i do have four chairs but three of them don't really get used nearly as often as my chair i use my chair not only for watching movies and playing xbox but it also gets tons of use when i'm doing listening sessions for reviews and comparisons and things like that and because i have to move things or change out equipment often during comparisons and reviews I'm in and out of that chair more often than the average person would be. And I also tend to recline almost every time I sit down, and then I have to return the seat to its upright position each time as well. So these motors have also gotten above average use over the last year and a half. But we're going to get to the motors in just a bit. The point that I'm trying to make is that the leather has endured more punishment than I believe most homes would put it through in the same amount of time. I went over the leather with a fine tooth comb, and I couldn't find anywhere whatsoever, except for in one spot on the back of the armrest. At first, I thought it was maybe from opening and closing the armrest, but when I opened the armrest, that spot's not affected at all it's not even rubbing at all but then i remembered that some of my recording equipment on tripods had fallen one day and that is the approximate area that it fell and it did fall against the chairs so i'm thinking that's what caused the damage there and other than that blemish the leather still looks brand new there's no signs of wear at all the leather has held up incredibly well i thought for sure that my spot would look at least a little bit more used than the other spots but i can't really tell a difference between them at all there is one little downside to the ultimate luxury chairs that some of the other valencia chairs don't have in common and that's the perforation on the seat cushion as well as the seat back. This is sort of a blessing and a curse. It does help keep your keister cool, but if you have kids that tend to spill, it is possible for liquids to get in under the leather. The other downside that I never really thought about is that little crumbs can get stuck in those holes also, but it's nothing that a vacuum can't fix. And while we're on the subject of the seating surface, we might as well cover whether or not the comfort level has changed. So to test this out, I switched seats from my usual chair to one of the other chairs that doesn't get used as often, and quite frankly, I couldn't really feel much of a difference. Both seats were comfortable, and one didn't really feel different than the other for the most part, my usual chair might be ever so slightly softer than the other one, but that could just be because my seat is a little bit more broken in, while the other ones still have that brand new feel. Either way, it isn't very noticeable, and considering that I'm a heavy guy, the cushions have held up very well. If anything, my chair has actually gotten more comfortable. Now that we've established that the leather along with the cushions and comfort have held up very well, there is one area of concern with chairs like these, and that's the power adjustments. It seems to be a common mindset in today's society that the more options it has is just the more that can go wrong. Well, I'm glad to say that the motors and adjustments on these chairs work just as good today as they did from day one. I'd stated earlier that I use my chair for movies, gaming, and for things like listening sessions and reviews. But when I'm doing listening sessions, I'm not just sitting down for hours. I'm constantly getting up to make adjustments to things like the toe-in of the speaker or switching out the amplifier, things like that. Almost every time I sit down, though, I do recline, except for when I'm doing two-channel listening because I do want to keep my ears uh, at tweeter level. But for anything else that I'm doing, I do recline just to be more comfortable. I really can't begin to guess how many times the chair has been reclined or the other adjustments have been adjusted. I do use the memory function so that everything adjusts to the same spot every time. If I did have to guess, I would say that it's been well over a thousand times that I've reclined or adjusted my seat. My most used chair still seems to work just as it did when it was new. The motor is still fast and quiet. If anything, I did think that my most used chair would slow down versus the other chairs that don't get used as much. The only way to find out is to have my most used chair race one of the hardly used chairs. So I reclined them both to the same position and then I use the memory function to save their spot. This way I only need to press that one button to get them to the exact same spot and to start the race. So on your marks, get set, go. <laughs>
As you can see, both chairs are neck and neck and finish pretty much exactly at the same time. So even the motors still function as they did when they were new. They're also incredibly quiet, as you can hear in this clip where I had the microphone right on the chair while it was reclining. So as you can hear, the loudest sound that it makes is really just the leather sliding across the other leather. For those concerned about noise, it's a non-issue with these chairs. They are very quiet, and that includes the motors. The motors for the recline function and the power adjustments are showing zero signs of wearing out, which I must admit really does set my mind at ease that these chairs will last for years to come. There is one other moving part that we have to have a look at, which is the gas shock in the armrest. The armrest on my chair actually gets open and closed quite a lot. Uh, I store my charging cables in there as well as my gaming headset, which I use for my late night gaming sessions where I don't want to wake up the kids. And yet again, Valencia shows that the ultimate luxuries are made with quality parts. The gas shock is showing no signs of slowing down, and it seems to work as new, just like everything else on the chairs. Another area of concern on home theater chairs like these is that the controls lose functionality or the LEDs burning out. And again, I'm happy to say that every button still works just as it did when it was new, and every LED light is still shining bright in all seven colors. I know that in these videos, it does look like a section is burned out on each of the chairs, uh, but that's just my Croson transducers, the way that they're mounted. It kind of block some of the lighting so it does make it look like there's a part burnt out but that's not the case guys i really did go over these chairs with a fine tooth comb looking for anything that i could point out to you i walked around them to see if there was any blemishes and the only blemish that i found was what was probably caused by my equipment falling on it i checked the motors i checked all the switches i looked at all the lights and everything really does seem to be working just as good as it did when it was new valencia has just done a phenomenal job making sure that these chairs are built to last and after a year and a half of use i have zero hesitations recommending these chairs to anybody looking at them they haven't given me any reason to doubt them thus far. And I'd also like to point out that I've had two other sets of the Valencia chairs. I went from the Verona to the Tuscany Premiers and now to these Ultimate Luxury chairs. And not a single one of them has ever needed warranty. Not a single one has even had so much as an LED light burnout. I've really had nothing but good experiences with all these chairs and I'm happy to see that the Ultimate Luxury chairs have kept that streak going for me. For those of you looking at making a purchase, I think you can rest easy knowing that Valencia makes quality chairs. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, why not subscribe, tick the bell icon if you do and please take just one short second to hit that like button i always do appreciate it guys and if you do decide to purchase these chairs please help support the channel by using my links down in the description below and just remember to enjoy your systems from the comfort of a good chair i'll see you on the next one cheers